Okay, uh, let's start. Uh, so, uh, today I will um, uh, talk about um, a Vietnamese uh, localization uh, for liberal office. Uh, actually, if, uh, I will talk about um, a couple of things. Uh, what we, we have done and what we are doing now and what we are uh, going to do next. I will give uh, uh, some information about various uh, things. Uh, I think 30 minutes is uh, a little short, uh, so I will uh, skip uh, the slide uh, very fast. Uh, okay, today I will talk about the, the important milestone for Vietnamese Liberal Office team and what we have done uh, the issue and uh, interesting uh, topics. Yes, what we uh, uh, plan to do next and the, the last uh, session is uh, question and, uh, and answer. Okay, uh, this is about myself. Uh, currently, I'm working for a Japanese company uh, about software development in Hanoi, uh, Vietnam. Uh, a few years in the past, I was quite active uh, in uh, translating uh, open source so uh, software like LibreOffice, OpenOffice, Firefox, uh, KD, uh, GNOME, Ubuntu. Uh, but uh, as of now, I don't have much time. Then I'm on focusing on uh, IT event and uh, community community building in uh, in in Vietnam and and especially in Hanoi. Uh, okay. A uh, little history about Vietnam Lib Liberal Office uh, team, and um, actually, it was the first uh, open office team in uh, Vietnam, who founded uh, like 30, 13 years ago. Uh, and when Liberal Office uh, would uh, fox uh, from open office, we have a, few, a, more, a small team uh, of about uh, four or five core member uh, to start. Um, translating LibreOffice, uh, I think the version is uh, uh, 3.0 and until now, uh, we still have a team but not so active. Um, this is a, the team, we call the MOST uh, team and MOST project. Uh, the responsibility for the MOST team is to uh, make a open source uh, operating system in Vietnamese. Uh, this will include uh, all the, or whatever user can see on, on the PC, on the Linux. So the goal of this project is to localize um, uh, Ubuntu, GNOME, uh, Firefox, and LibreOffice. And we have to do uh, lots of things. Uh, the screenshot on the right uh, as our discussion archive uh, from many years ago until now, yes. Uh, and this is the the web uh, side of the project most. It also project most last as I say we trans uh, oh, 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 uh, open office Ubuntu uh, open office liberal office like this. And this is uh, a mailing list uh, we what we discussing. And uh, for uh, some important reason, we uh, we use the archivement to to search for what we have uh, translated in the past. Uh, so, uh, how the uh, Open Office team uh, migrated uh, to LibreOffice? Uh, when uh, Sun Microsystems stopped to develop a world, uh, we have discussed uh, with our team member. Uh, and we have de decided that we Vietnamese uh, team won't support overall and we switch uh, almost almost our team member to uh, translating LibreOffice as until now. This is the first thing we do. Uh, the first thing we uh, send the uh, tribe uh, to create a website. Uh, for our community. Uh, so the next, okay. You you uh, create that site. Sorry. Or, uh, you create or you just transfer from translation. 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 Yes, I think uh, other team can do the same. Yeah. Yep. 
know the programming skill required. And some detailed topic. Um, I think the topics and the issues uh, in random order. Uh, the first thing I think is uh, in, in, uh, interesting. Um, so how decision making uh, in our team is made. So we are all volunteer. So uh, basically we don't have a leader. We then don't have a, a person on the top to uh, decide uh, everything. Or we don't have a final uh, decision maker. Yes. Uh, so everything um, to be decided will be discussed. And uh, finally we have to reach uh, some level of um, agreement. Uh, we have uh, no official rule or guideline for how uh, agreement is made. But basically we talk, we talk to each other. Our members uh, are not only in one location. We are all over the world. Yeah, Han Hanoi, uh, Saigon, uh, some people in Japan and America. So what we do even to, to discuss the email. Yes. Uh, did you mention how many members in this project? Yes, it, it, it depends on the situation. Uh, for example, when we... I will talk to you later. Yes, we have a topic about that. Yeah. So these are the big issues. So do we need a Vietnamese version for LibreOffice for our OS? or we just use English version? It's a very big question. For some people, educated people, for example, high school, uh, high school or um, university student can use English very, um, with, uh, with no difficult. Uh, so for them, we don't have to translate. But for older people and for children, um, if we, everything is in English, they won't understand. It would be better if we have a, a, translate, a Vietnamese translation. That is the reason why we uh, create a Vietnamese uh, version for LibreOffice. So I think, uh, as, as I said, most Vietnamese uh, cannot uh, use English very well. Yes. Especially, especially for um, the government official, uh, the level of in English is very low. Yeah, so it's better to have a um, Vietnamese person. Yes, for free. And some other important points. Um, uh, yesterday, I have talked to a Paraguay. Okay, uh, they say that. Yes, the percentage of pirated software in in um, Southern America is very high. Actually, in Vietnam, it's, it's too high. Yes. This means in Vietnam, uh, almost 100% of software is pirated. So people use Windows and Microsoft Office for free. They don't pay for it. Maybe lower than China. <laughs> <laughs> it's, yes, it's the same, the same to China. It's 100%. Yes, this in fact um, how we how people use software. Uh, because people get Microsoft Office for free, so we can't sell LibreOffice, and we can't say to them that LibreOffice is free. If you have to pay for other software, so let's use it's free. It's ethical to use LibreOffice. It's ethical to to use open software. It doesn't make sense to such type of people. Yes, yeah, the same situation. I don't know about how in about Taiwan. Taiwan. The, the same, same situation in Taiwan about maybe 10 or 15 years ago. 15 years ago? 10 or 15 10 years ago. Years ago. How, how about now? No, it's much better because uh, all the schools, all the government, they will buy, but they, they won't buy full, uh, enough license. Yeah. They just buy maybe partial. Partial, yeah. Uh, in Vietnam, uh, Microsoft uh, have offered uh, one license for Microsoft Office for one dollar. It's very cheap. But the Vietnamese uh, government have refused the, the, the suggestion. <laughs> yes. One dollar for one license. But we refuse. So how can we convince them to buy 
it's people there to use LibreOffice if they both are for free? It's very hard. <laughs> very hard, yes. Very, very hard. Under, under that condition. Yes. Which so are we, the strong points of this? Um, uh, we have a few techniques to convince people to open source software. For example, for people uh, who like security, uh, like hacking, so we convince us Linux is cool. If you want to hack someone's computer, Linux and LibreOffice is better. Maybe, maybe later I will uh, Okay, I'm talking about that later. Maybe yeah. later I will show how we did that in Taiwan. Okay. Actually, um, at uh, yeah, 6 sure. p.m. we, we have a, a, a discussion at the room yeah. yes, about, about this topic. And um, BSA had good impact uh, for open source. BSA came to our company and said that you are you pirate software, so let's stop it. So in such case, people are, are forced, forced to switch to open, open source. And uh, see the uh, interesting uh, topic, see the file. And um, in Vietnam, we have two, three ways to translate these words. So how we did an agreement for all people, all in Vietnam, to the same one? Actually, we cannot. But we have, anyway, we have to translate the word file. So how? It's very difficult. And uh, after a long, very long discussion, we, we, uh, we all agree that we, we use this word. It's really, really took, took a long time, a few months of discussion. And now it's become standard. And we don't have a national session to, to standardize uh, what words is official or what we cannot use. And uh, see there's a second, uh, another topic, uh, when we translate uh, new words. So new words mean uh, a word that no one has been translated before. So we are the first one to translate. So how we translate, how we make um, agreement. So, uh, for example, this word, extension. Extension in LibreOffice. We have deadline, we have a goal to translate. So we have free one anyway. Yes. So, the conclusion is let's discuss before deadline and fix it. So, next session, how we uh, translate this one? I think for this word, it's better to not to translate. Just use the bye bye session. Uh, and the next topic, how to dealing with words that very hard to translate. Okay, so con conclusion is let's discuss. And uh, we use a uh, suggestion feature in uh, Putter. And we, we use mailing list to discuss. I uh, see another example see the gallery, a set of uh, pictures, movies. Mm -hmm. Clips. So we have to translate these words. We have many choice to translate. So how we get one? As far as we we pick this one. For Vietnamese, uh, we never heard of this word before. So for the first time, they we, we they heard the words. They think that it's stranger, stranger. But the second time and th the third time, when we see and hear this word, it's they like this normal. It's nature, and no problem. Uh, and another topic, I I, feel, I think that it's some sometimes it's safe to some word uh, as is. I mean we don't have to uh, translate. For example, this word plugin. Plugin we we don't translate. We use plugin, and uh, the word file. Sometimes we use as is files and don't we don't translate it. And it's another topic. Um, in Vietnam, we can use English for like plugin, and we can use Vietnamese or we can use Chinese Vietnamese. Khan, Yu. Yes, it's make of Vietnamese and Chinese. Ancient, ancient Chinese is being used in Vietnam. So we have three choices. So we want to be made. For example, if we can translate uh, this word plugin into English, uh, we can use plugin in, in English, or we can uh, translate in, in Vietnamese or 
uh, some form of Chinese or Vietnamese. So that is question of choice. We have translated, we have some, some one of the three approach. Uh, but I, I think that it depends on the case, yes. We don't, we don't, have, a term, we don't have a rule for trans, uh, translating this kind of words. Uh, and uh, the next one, uh, standard and for translation. Uh, in Vietnam, we, we, we have uh, many dialects from uh, south to north. And the, the, the government don't have a, a session for standardized uh, new words. So being the first person to translate, uh, in including Firefox or LibreOffice, we have to to fit to to make a standard. Yes, I think the same thing happened to your team. We do, we we can't look up uh, our word in any dictionary, right? As another problem here, uh, when the words add-on, plug-in, extension appear in the same sentence and context, it's very hard to translate. So we have to deal with uh, this situation. Uh, about the a review process, it's very immature and and how the we use uh, mailing list and um, uh, suggestion features in Poodle for reviewing the translation. And about the testing, testing the translation, as the conclusion is we have to wait until the next version. So we don't have time to uh, compile uh, the PO files and compile um, the whole bunch of uh, C++ plus uh, source code and test our translation. In the past, I have uh, sometimes asked the developer to build uh, to build a special uh, build for Vietnamese, but it's tedious task, so I have stopped. So I think a solution for this is to use daily build. Yeah. Okay, and this is a translation progress. Uh, until now, uh, as you see, uh, the rate uh, is not high. Uh, we don't have much people for for this, so it's okay. I think it's uh, okay for now. Yeah. I I will talk about the reason and the definition of done, uh, for translation level. And about the uh, translation quality, I think it's not bad. It's not so bad. But it's not good, and we have a translation box, and we fight. We will fix the translation on, on Poodle. And the trees, uh, are one of our uh, definition of them. Uh, what in uh, what's in the the menu? Yes, on the top the menu at the top levels, has to be translated, and the words often. Seen uh, in sentence have to be translated. Yes. Yes. Uh, see this topic I will talk before. So in Vietnam, who use uh, LibreOffice? Uh, I I think not so so many people use LibreOffice. Uh, the government office use, but not so many. Actually, in Vietnam, we have a uh, law enforcement to fox. Uh, all the government officer have to use deep office or, or open office, but they, they don't. They don't use. Yeah. So to to them away and reinstall uh, MS office to their machine. And uh, another point, uh, I think the government officer they is. It's not a big deal for them to use Vietnamese or English version because they are quite familiar to with Microsoft Office. All menu in are in English, but it's not not big issue for them. Despite that, the the, the English skill is, is not very high. Yeah. So uh, about LibreOffice community in in Vietnam, um. 
we don't have a big uh, LibreOffice community uh, in Vietnam. So the people who use LibreOffice are, are belong to other um, Linux user groups like uh, Vietnam or Vietnam Free and Open Source Association and uh, Linux and Open Source Group in University. Yes. I think it's two things to convince people to use uh, LibreOffice and Open Source. Force is cool, and if you want to become a hacker, let's use Rina. That's what, that, that, that is the way I, I do the marketing for open source. And about the adoption of uh, LibreOffice in uh, Vietnam, a government session, individual, and company. A uh, government session is very hard. Actually, I don't have uh, much information, but they are using this using open source because of uh, security concerns. Uh, there are some news about um, Windows. Windows is not secure. Because if we, you are using Windows, we are being watched by uh, Microsoft and by America. So people in social so government system in Vietnam are switching, switching to, to open source. And for individual, uh, individual I think the, the people hate Microsoft when switch to LibreOffice and people love Linux when switch to open source and they use LibreOffice as a major. Yeah. And for, for the company, um, uh, because of the enforcement, uh, they are switching to, to LibreOffice. Yes, and more and more companies are switching to LibreOffice. Do, do you have anyone have the government sections to migrate to the I'm oh, sorry, can we? Do you have anyone to have the government sections to migrate to the bank or um, yes, I, my friend. Yeah, but they are uh, individual, not not a, a, a department or or, mi or miniature. As far as I know, um, the ministry of education mm -hmm. and ministry of um, science mm -hmm. and ministry of um, telecommunication have tried to switching to Linux and Ubuntu and leave office but no big success yes. people switching back to Windows and Microsoft Office so what kind of security concerns uh, have they uh, Windows is not secure uh, which? Windows is not secure it's Windows in Windows we have better malware yes because one of the uh, um, comments which I got from one of the defense personals in my country was we cannot, uh, I mean, that's a comment, okay, I'm not uh, uh, with that. He said uh, because there is no support, because we do not know who will take, it can be unsecure for the defense sector. So it's really difficult to convince them as to which is secure, which is not secure, or whether both of them are unsecure, both of them are secure. Yeah, yeah, yes. So, did you have any experience in that? Uh, I, I don't work for military, so I have, I have no, no. Not really military, but yeah. any government agencies. So, government. what I know is uh, for police and military in Vietnam, they are using both Windows and Linux. And for military, they are using Linux. Most of the time, and for some special um, device yeah. for controlling and monitoring, uh, because the software run above it uh, is can can only be run on Windows, so they have to 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 use Windows. Okay, when I Okay, about promotion and marketing in Vietnam. Um, uh, we have uh, in Vietnam, uh, the population is uh, nine, 90 million people. And the, the number of Facebook users is 20 million. So the conclusion is that if we do promotion and marketing, the best way is to use Facebook. 
is what uh, I'm doing. I, I don't know how about your country. Some people use LINE, Twitter, or Google Plus, but in Vietnam it's Facebook to marketing. It's what I'm doing. Um, when I'm promoting um, open source, including, including LibreOffice, uh, I focus on IT groups on Facebook and open source groups. And we use like, share, and invite uh, feature in Facebook. It's very quick to do and very effect effective. So effective event, right? Virus, like virus. And in the future, uh, I will uh, come back to translate and uh, translate news and publish and share, like in both <coughs> And other way to promote and uh, mar do marketing is an online, offline, and online event. Uh, in some event like Subway Freedom Day and local meetups, uh, people mentioned about open source, including including LibreOffice. Uh, so if we join your LibreOffice, uh, what can we choose? Uh, the fact is, very few people in Vietnam uh, currently use LibreOffice. The so major choice is Microsoft Office, most of the people. And the Friday software, as I say, is 97% in Vietnam. But is it, is it authentic data? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Okay, you can you can see the data on the BSA uh, website. Yeah. Yes, nearly one hundred percent. I know. No, oh. don't come. <laughs> <laughs> but it's true at a lot of places. Yes, nearly one hundred. Yeah. yeah, nearly all the people. Yes. They use pirated versions. Yes, so. almost everyone even. So it's a toy when we do marketing, we cannot convince people that because it is free, no money, free of charge, so let's open open source. Because in Vietnam, Microsoft Office and Windows are free, free of charge. <laughs> <laughs> I think the same thing in Paraguay. Yeah. Yes? Same thing. Same thing. Which place? Paraguay. 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 The same thing. The same thing? Yes, same. Yes. <laughs> uh, and if we people don't use LibreOffice, they can uh, switch to Google document and open .org. Yes, very few. Uh, some office, uh, government officers are still using open office, very old version. <coughs> so we will do marketing and uh, convince people to tweet to LibreOffice, city our target, MS Office and this one. Most business people use Google Doc. Very hard to convince them. Uh, so uh, let me talk about the impact of government decision, decision on LibreOffice. Actually, in Vietnam, we have law enforcement by Ministry of Information, Ministry of Information and Communication. Uh, we have decisions that everyone in the government system has to use open source, has to use Ubuntu and OpenOffice, <coughs> not LibreOffice. Uh, and another thing. In Vietnam, we have two um, open file op uh, format um, that's been allowed. One is OOXML and another is ODF. Because Vietnamese uh, government says that both OOXML and ODF are, uh, are open format, so they are okay. Anyone can choose, choose uh, the software that supports uh, the format. And the last section is education. Uh, people in education ministry, ministry is not aggressive enough to switch into to open source. But I think they are uh, trying to do that. Yes. Um, and the reason why Vietnamese is switching to open source, including LibreOffice, is budget cutting. The Vietnamese are not very, as, very rich. We are poor, a poor country. Mm -hmm. So, saving goes here. That's a big goal. Mm -hmm. Yes. And as I said, um, open source is more secure than closed source. 
Linux is more secure than Windows. And the last one, uh, open source is innovation. I think the people in the government know this. But they are not uh, brave enough to switch in from Windows. This law is mandatory? Uh, sorry, what? The, the law. The law is mandatory. But the people don't follow. <laughs> it's the same in Brazil. I'm comfortable with that. Yeah, I, do that. I thought I was alone. No, no, sure. no. It's similar in Estonia as well. There's a great line that all public institutions should use projects and so on. But we, we can make a list that is happening in, in over 50% of the countries. Okay. I, I think I we have one minute left, so. So let me go to the next Sorry. slide. Uh, our translation team, uh, the, TP, uh, the number of IT people are of four or five, um, uh, one or two in, including me, and another people <coughs> in most projects oh, we need to have us when we want to make some, some standard for translate uh, new words. Uh, this is uh, one thing I, I'm thinking about, uh, what a thing I, I sh we should do. That is the definition we've done for uh, translating. Uh, for example, for Vietnamese, the translating progress is not very high, but uh, at least we have to make sure that all the menus are translated and the two tips. And the contact menu, the main contact menu window are all translated. So the user have feeling that, feeling that um, the Vietnamese are nearly 100% translated. And that's perfect spelling and grammar. It's not a big issue, but we have uh, to make a standard so that, so that every, everyone uh, agree. For example, uh, do we, do we uh, use this one or this one? I or Y, it's Vietnam. We have standard for date and time format and number unit format and coding. In Vietnam, we, this is the main, the main coding using in Vietnam. But some people are using this one or this one. Uh, okay, it's, uh, it's uh, uh, a good topic. MOSWC is Microsoft Office Specialist World Champion competition. It's sponsored by Vietnam and organized, organized by um, some big company in Vietnam. And the name of Vietnam is very, very misleading. And they delete the word Microsoft and they say it's Microsoft Office Specialist World Champion. And um, because it's misleading, misleading. Uh, the community uh, in Vietnam has, um, um, we, we, we object that. And we send an open letter to Microsoft and organizer. And they, uh, they, uh, finally they script uh, the name back to Microsoft Office. And so what we now are going to do uh, next from now, uh, one thing we keep uh, translating UI and health. The main is UI, user interface. And the second thing is marketing. And so we should do it more often, at time to Italo and uh, or yes, for teaching me. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> yes. As we, knew, uh, we will write uh, news uh, blogs and uh, share the news uh, from TDF and Deep Office from uh, Twitter. Uh, the bad news is in Vietnam, we don't, people don't use Twitter. People use Facebook. Yeah. Yeah. That's true. Okay, that's all.